hello friends today we are going to solve the question number 62 which is given in to gate 2022 of csc paper so the question is consider the queues one queue containing four elements and two queue containing none shown as the initial state in the figure the only operation allowed on these two queues are nq and dq the minimum number of nq operation on one queue required to place the element of one q in q2 in reverse order shown as a final state in the figure without using any additional storages so as the question says uh, we can't use the additional storage and we have to maintain uh, a q2 in reverse order so the element which is given in q1 q q1 so and in initial state as you can see that one q1 and q2 is there and in q1 1 2 3 4 elements is given and we have to insert these element into q2 and uh, these element into q2 in reverse order while doing this we have to count the number of nq's uh, which required to perform on q1 remember that the minimum number of nq's the minimum number of nq's on q1 okay so how we can do this first this is the initial state as you can see that uh, this is q1 and q2 this is q2 in q1 1 2 3 4 elements are there uh, so uh, these are the actions which we uh, this is the action column and this is the q operation on q1 column so this is a counter which uh, will count the nq operation on q1 and this is the uh, action column so here all the actions which are going to perform on q1 and q2 uh, will be shown here so first element uh, so this is what element equals to dq q1 so we are trying to dq from q1 so when we uh, dq from dq from q1 what we will get uh, we will get one so we have one the element is one and now what we will do with this one we will uh, nq the q nq in q2 okay so uh, see this we um, we have uh, nq this now again dq from q2 q1 and nq in q2 okay so but see this this is not in reverse order so what we will do to maintain in reverse order we will uh, dq from q2 and again and again nq in q2 okay now next action is um, dq from q1 and nq in q2 now dq from q2 and nq in q1 this action uh, we are performing to maintain the q2 in reverse order so now q1 we have to dq from q2 and again uh, nq in q2 now 4 is remaining in q1 so uh, we do the same and dq from the q1 and nq nq in q2 okay now we have all the four elements in uh, in our q2 so uh, all elements are present in q2 so we have so our next aim is we have to uh, maintain the order in descending order or we have to um, arrange it in reverse order so what we will do we will uh, dq from q2 and q in q2 again next we will do it again dq from q2 and and q in q2 now again we will do it q 
dq from q2 and nq in q1 so as you can see that finally we got the desired q1 q2 state the all elements are in reverse order and the uh, it's surprising that uh, we don't need any nq on q1 so the answer is zero thank you for watching